Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing my Ipsy and Boxy Charm, which I just finally got my, what is it? Ipsy Glam Bag? It's the one that has like the little sample sizes. So I was waiting on that one to do the unboxing, but I am super excited to dive into this. By the time you see this, the giveaway will be ending, but anything that I have in my subscription box will end up also in the giveaway that I did for my birthday month of August. It closes out on August 31st. So if by chance this happens to be up before the giveaway ends, go to my July unboxing because that is where I posted the giveaway for my birthday. But I'm excited to dive into this and see what I got. Now, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what I got in my subscription box and envelope this month, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I like to kick this off with my glam bag. This one is from Ipsy. Granted, the box is BoxyCharm by Ipsy. It's a whole thing. There's a merger, it confuses me. Anyways, so usually there is a makeup bag in here and then this time I usually have an opportunity to purchase from like the Ipsy mall, Ipsy store. I'm not sure what it's called, I can't remember. And I don't usually but they had the Kitsch set and scrunchies. I haven't worn a scrunchie since like the early 90s, late 90s. They were, they were popular in the 90s. But I saw these and they're thinner than traditional scrunchies. They were like big and kind of look like ribbon in your hair. But since I've been in the military, I mostly wear like thin elastics because it's supposed to hide in your hair and it's a whole thing. But I saw these and I was like, you know what? Sometimes I like to wear a scrunchie and I think I'm about to like switch into one of these because we're gonna go to dinner to celebrate Jamie's birthday and we're gonna drive up to Williamsburg. There's a Greek restaurant there that we love. But my hair's been in a bun all day for work and I'm ready to just take it down, let it loose, and be free. Anyways, also the weather is decent. It's 94 right now. So I'm not really trying to like flat iron my hair cause it's just gonna like freeze or frizz, frizz. Now let's dive into what I got in Ipsy. So it came in this little makeup bag. Previous ones, they have like the drawstring ones. I do like this has a zipper because everything's enclosed. Now there is a card and this has the items that are in here. Ooh, I'm peeking, sorry. Let's see, first thing that I grabbed, this is the Lottie London four piece eyeshadow palette. It is the purpley shades. The full size version is $8. This says it's a deluxe sample, but this is like, for me, this is like the perfect size. I just, I don't go through things like that. All right, so that is what it looks like. There is a shimmer. There's like a satiny shade and then two mattes. I kind of want to swatch the shimmer. That is really pretty. Ooh, I wish I could wear these shades to work. That is really pretty. I'm excited to try this out in the future. We have from Floss Lip Advocate Sheer T sheer lip tint. I love floss. I love their lip glosses. I have a couple of them. I absolutely love them. Full size retails for $18 and this is in the shade Your Honor. Ooh, it's kind of like a pinky shade. It's supposed to be a sheer lip tint. That would be beautiful for work. It doesn't have a scent. I'm okay with that. We'll definitely have to try that out. I'll probably keep it on my table and try it out for work. Ooh, even like smudged out a little bit. It's really pretty. Next we have the Give Them Lala. What is this? Ooh, it's a brow gel. Full size retails for $18. Lightweight brow gel is like a magic wand for your eyebrows. Give you fuller structured and oh so natural looking arches. No more unruly brow hairs getting in your way. This flake free formula locks them in place and keeps them there all day long. Granted the last time I tried a brow gel from my subscription box, it was a little slippy and never dried down. We will try this though. I always use some type of brow gel in my brows. I need to, they are, right now they're tamed. Sometimes they're not. We have from Grown Alchemist, the anti-pollution primer. Ooh, so I like Grown Alchemist. I've used their like face cleansers and whatnot. Really like those. Full size retails for $42. 
Shield your skin from the everyday hazards of the digital world. Anti-pollution primer not only helps create a protective barrier against blue light emission damage, but also works wonders in blurring those pesky wrinkles and pores. Ooh, I will take that. I'm really excited to try this out because I pours right through here, lines up here. <laughs> True test. Awesome. I didn't realize that they had primer. I thought they were mostly like skincare. Last item. This is the JLo Body Firm and Flaunt Targeted Booty Balm. Ooh. This is just a sample size, which I'm okay with. Full size retails for $65. Newsflash, your booty needs its own skincare routine. The balm is boosted with superstar ingredients like energizing guarana seed extract and pink pepper slim, which works together to help reduce the look of stretch marks and give an instant boost of hydration. All right. I'm gonna put this on my counter and I'll try it out tomorrow. That's cool. I'm really excited for that. Okay, you guys, now we have the BoxyCharm by Ipsy. This is a big box. Oh, this is the Icon Box. So I take that back. This is the Ipsy Icon Box by Vanessa Hudgens. Oh, that is awesome. Doesn't she look stunning? This also gives some details about the items in here, the cost of most of the products. I know I've said in the past that it gives you the price of all the items. That doesn't necessarily happen because if they have to substitute anything, it happens. I'm excited for this. Ooh, you guys, there's some cool things in here. First up, we have the Wander Beauty Skyliner Duo Automatic Gel Eyeliner Set. Ooh, so there's jet black and tan line. So I don't naturally use brown eyeliner. I stick with black, but let me see what this is all about. Okay, so these retail for $32. Now here's my thing. Like I said, I only gravitate towards black. I don't gravitate towards brown. I'm gonna put this in the drawer for the giveaway. I hate to do that, like I can, I could put them in the box, but I'm not even gonna open it. I'm gonna open the black one because my favorite eyeliner is black. Ooh, is it one of those twist ups? Oh, it is. I love a good twist up gel eyeliner. It doesn't even say like if it's gonna last all day. I'm gonna try it out. So gel eyeliners like this, I tend to put in my waterline. I use liquid eyeliner for my eyelid. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. Oh, do I try it out tomorrow? I have a wedding. Probably not trying it out tomorrow. I'll probably try it out on Sunday. Yeah, that sounds right. Next in here we have from Clark's Botanicals, seven acid daily glow peel, AHA, BHA, PHA, hyaluronic acid. Okay. This retails for $75. I went to, um, so when grandma went to Baltimore, she, we had done her nails before she went, but we didn't get to go back before she went to Baltimore. So by the time she got home, they were starting to like peel off. We made an appointment and today she got her, she got a manicure and I got a pedicure, but I'm not trying to break a nail. All right, so this is the Daily Glow Peel. Really clean, aesthetically pleasing bottle. Apply six to eight drops to a cotton round and sweep across face, neck, and chest after cleansing. So it's daily. Sometimes a peel is like every two or three days. This is a daily one, so it can't be too harsh on the skin. I will need to add this in because I have one right now that I use every three days. But if this one's a daily one, after cleansing, do not rinse. Ter temporary redness and tingling is normal. All right, we'll try that out. We have the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. Ooh, I'm not even gonna open this. I have one. It's in special packaging, which is the reddish shade. So I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. So this retails for $31. Now, there are two sides to this. So one side is for volume, and that is what the bristles look like. And then the other side is curl and length. Very different type of bristles and brushes. I will actually either do it separately. Maybe I want volume one day. Maybe I want curl and length. Or sometimes I will mix them together. I was doing like mascara cocktails for a little bit. I was doing the L'Oreal. I don't think I have it anymore. I think they were a little old, so I needed to like replace them. But the two that were like super viral last year, one was lengthening, one was volumizing, and I mixed them and I would get so many compliments on my lashes. Sometimes you just need two mascaras to make it happen. But this is two in one, which is awesome. So that is in the giveaway. We have from Freck Beauty, the Lash Rocket Liner with Lash Enhancing Peptides. Wait, is this liquid liner? Yes. This retails for $24. Oh, okay, so that is what that looks like. 
Freck is the one that does like the freckles. It's a very tiny container. I don't normally do like freckles. It's just not my thing. And that is what the liner looks like. It looks kind of chunky, but it looks like it could also probably wipe some of that off. Nice. I am always about trying new liquid liners. Ooh, something came in bubble wrap. I do like that. Like they're going to try and protect some of the products in here. I have had, I think it was BoxyCharm. I, it was when I was still in Chicago. In the winter, they delivered the package and they weren't expecting freezing temperatures. But by the time I got my box, whatever bottle it was had like exploded and it was all over. It was crazy. They, they're like, hey, we're completely out. We will just put the money back into your account and you can use it to buy a product. It works. All right, the Alloy Cheek Duo Palette. So the other thing is Natasha Denona also, oh, I didn't even say it, it's from Natasha Denona. They'll always put like an outer cart in to kind of protect their products. Oh, I don't have this one. Ooh. Oh, I am so excited to try this out. I love the products from Natasha Denona. Ooh, look at that. Put that right there. That is beautiful. I'm so excited. I love her products and that is a beautiful palette. I have the Il Maquillage Lip Service High Shine Lip Glaze. Oh, I didn't even tell you how much that retails for. The Natasha Denona Bronze Duo, the Alloy Cheek Duo retails for $42. The Il Maquillage Lip Service High Shine Lip Glaze. This retails for $27. And this is in the shade Power Play. Ooh, that is a beautiful, it looks like it might be a cool toned nude. Let's see. Pretty. Ooh, it's scented. It kind of smells like vanilla. From Elemis, I have the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, Anti-Wrinkle Hydrating Day Cream. Love Elemis, love this cream. I've had it before, I'm out, and this just alleviates me from having to repurchase it. And this falls back to the part where I said, sometimes the product's not in the pamphlet. Okay, so I found it on Ulta. You will not believe me if I do not show you. It retails for $138. This is why I haven't repurchased it, because it, it's, it's expensive. Oh, okay. I do like Elemis. <laughs> I don't know that I like that price. That would be why I haven't repurchased it because I don't spend that much money on face cream. That is part of why I like my subscription boxes because there are things in here that I receive absurdly priced outrageously and I'm just kind of like, no, mm -mm. but that one I do like, I have used it before. I absolutely love how it leaves my skin and it looks, it just, glad I didn't have to buy it. We have from Too Faced, the Let's Play On The Fly eyeshadow palette. It says it smells like bubble gum. So in the pamphlet, it has a different palette, but it's the same concept. It retails for $29. Let's see what the color story looks like. See, okay, this is cute. I wanna keep it, but I already have these shades in other Too Faced palettes. I don't really smell anything. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in the giveaway box. It's, it's pretty, I just, I know I have these shades in another palette. So I would rather give it to one of you guys if you were able to enter into the giveaway. Last item in here, and I love the products I've received from this brand. This is the brand from Alicia Keys, and it is the Keys Soul Care Golden Cleanser. This has Manuka Honey, Turmeric. Oh, those are how it's pronounced, not the languages. Never mind. The Golden Cleanser retails for $22, which that's a really good price. Better than the one from Elemis. Granted, I like Elemis. I just don't like the price tag. I do like her packaging too. Look at this. And do you see the purple hue? It's not black glass. It is like purple in hue. I love this packaging. It is so beautiful. This I will probably put on my like next to my sink for in the evening after I do my makeup cleanser or my makeup balm. I have a face cleanser. It's just, I always have to reach into the shower. I have a Keys exfoliator in my shower, but I'm always nervous that when I go to pick it up, I'm gonna drop it and it's made of glass. 
Like most of my other cleansers are in plastic tubes and I'm not afraid that if they drop that they're gonna shatter and I'm gonna step on it and I'm clumsy. Let's just say that. But this will probably go next to my sink for in the evening and be part of my nighttime skincare routine. That is everything, you guys. Let me go ahead and total up this box. The only reason I didn't do it for the glam bag is because it was giving me prices for full size and I have sample size. This, on the other hand, is full size products and based off of what I spend on this box and how much I think it's going to total, it's already over $138. I can tell you that much. So let me go ahead and total this up real quick. Okay, you guys, this icon box from Ipsy totaled $420. Now I just looked up my membership to make sure I knew exactly how much I spent on this box. I only spent $58. That is absurd. Granted, there's some things in here that I would have purchased myself. There's some things that I absolutely would not have like paid that price tag. I've got moisturizers, but I don't spend that much on them. I love my subscription boxes because I get to try things that I wouldn't normally go and spend my money on because of the price tag or maybe I wanted to try something but I just didn't have the opportunity or I haven't gotten around to it and sometimes BoxyCharm or Ipsy beats me to the punch. Now for the glam bag I do pay $13 a month for that and I get five sample sizes from that subscription which I love my sample sizes especially because I have a trip coming up in September and I'll go and grab my sample sizes and those are what I'll travel with especially when it's a weekend trip or even a week-long trip because no one wants to pack full-size products and take up that space when you can have it for clothing or souvenirs whatever you have in your suitcase but you guys I am so excited for the items that I received I am really excited to try some of these out and you saw that some of those items are going into the giveaway that I held in July for my birthday in August now you guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell for notifications to new videos and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up until in my next video you guys bye i'll see you in the next one